Do you want to limit your CPU or GPU usage? Maybe you want to lock the frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate. How about limiting the FPS on a game that is not supported by VSync? My name is Dian Rice. Today I'm going to be showing you how this is possible with this software called RevaTuner. So since they get started, you need to download RevaTuner and as well as MSI Afterburner. So without these two in tandem, this software does not work for limiting the FPS. So you will want to have this before. I already did a video on using the FPS counter, uh, the CPU rate, all those kinds of things. I'll do. I'll link that into the description down below or as a card, whatever it is. But today, this is the focus for RevaTuner. So what you want to do is just if you want to set up your graphs like I did before, like I said, go to monitoring, go. Go ahead check and market what you want but for me the main focus of this particular tutorial which is a quick one is just how to limit the frame rate now in Riva tuner there is a couple profiles that you can do for globally you can set up for each particular game and whatnot but the main difference is for this one is the the this icon right here or this particular variable called frame rate limit now this frame rate limit does that's basically what it says. It will limit the frame rate to what you want if Riva Tuner and MSI Afterburner are running behind in your system behind the game. This will allow you to limit it just for, you know, CPU usage, the GPU usage. Maybe if you're streaming games and let's say, for example, that you don't want to have a stuttery mess on both the stream and your game itself, this will help you to do and alleviate those kinds of issues. This is one way to do it, at least. There's obviously other ways to do it, but this is this is one way to do it. And the frame rate limit itself is very useful. And like I said, you can set profiles to each in particular .exe file. Now you can also do this inside of the Windows, uh, inside the Windows UWP uh, apps. These are actually enabled. You can do it inside Forza 7. You can do it inside uh, Gears of War 4. All those kinds of games, you can do it inside there. As long as you're updating both MSI Afterburner and the Riva Tuner. So currently I am on MSI Afterburner version 4.4.0 beta 12 and Riva Tuner is updated to 7.7 yeah, 7.7 7.0.0 beta 26 so make sure it's one of the beta versions make sure it's out those are up to date you should see this Riva Tuner skin now this skin is different than what you see before previously so version 7 actually updated the actual UI of this particular software so make sure you want to do that and make sure that the frame rate limit is set to what you want to do now I'm going to show you this in two particular clips I have Call of Duty World War 2 and the beta that is currently out right now or it was out right now, and as all well as Counter Strike Go, which does not actually support VSync or any of those kinds of things. So let's continue on with the video, and I'll show you how it is. Okay, so this is the Call of Duty World War II beta. You notice how the frame rate and frame time are going kind of very, very wildly, and that's because I turned off its own settings. So I, inside the graphical settings, you go to advanced video. I turned off the sync for every frame. I turned off the maximum FPS that aspect ratio I leave this off for a reason so it shows you that the FPS and frame rate times are going kind of haywire in Riva Tuner right now and then when I, I turned off the sync every frame which is pretty much sync every frame in this case means vsync which you don't want mainly because of mouse input lag but I'm gonna turn it off right now and I'll show you what exactly it is for this right now before I turn on Riva Tuner so we're gonna go ahead and just go just find it into the middle of the map here Alright, so notice how the frame rate differences in the frame time is changing a lot compared to what it was normally on other kinds of systems. Okay, so I killed these two people and notice how the difference is between things. Alright, so I died. Okay, so now I'm going to enable Riva Tuner. So I'll go to my Riva Tuner. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to turn the frame rate limit on to 60. So once I hit enter, it will lock the game to 60 FPS. Notice the difference and how now that the FPS in the frame time is stable. It is not moving anymore. So even if I move like very, very shakily that fast, it does not change. Getting in a gunfight, nothing. It will basically limit the FPS to what you want it to be. And this is very useful for, you know, if you're streaming games or whatnot. And let's say, for example, you don't want the outputting of the CPU. You want the you want as much frames as you want, pretty much. You want as many frames as you want compared to what it is to other gameplay, that's why. This is very, very simple and very, very useful for what it needs to be sometimes. Other times, it could be very worse. Other times, it's really good. It could be helping you out. It lessens the CPU load, the GPU load, all those kinds of things. It will help you for streaming. It will help you for recording, those kinds of things. 
Okay, so now we are in Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike Go. This is just bot match, but it's just showing you, look how much frame rate and frame time is different between what I showed before and things. So this is not without Reefa Tuner. Now, this game does not actually have V-Sync. It does not have anything to lock your frames or anything like that. It is very, very hard to basically get this game to basically run the way that you want to do it, pretty much. So these are just easy bots, so don't worry about it, but that's the thing. So, you know, this frame rate time, frame rate, it is very, very variable, and it shows a lot of differences in between just moving in between places between nuke and just going let's say for the vents for example and going around into the side here now i'm going to turn on i'm going to turn on now the frame rate counter so go here go to my reva tuner again ink put the frame rate limit again and hit enter and notice how stable the fps is and the frame time is compared to what it was literally just a couple seconds ago. That is a complete change, and it's much smoother experience for both the player and as well if you're streaming. And like I said before, less CPU usage, less GPU usage, all those good stuff. It will help you out, and it will pretty much pretty much do the good things that you want because the thing is with this particular software is you don't want to have you know the highest frames for your thing you don't want to have any higher uh, higher frames than your monitor refresh rate now if your monitor refresh rate is more than let's say for example like 144 hertz or you know 120 obviously you would limit it to that particular one but you know for streaming as an example 60 fps for me at least on a 60 hertz monitor is what most people would like to strive for and that's what i like to do on my system as well so this is what my monitor refresh rate is. This is 60 hertz, 60 FPS. It is very stable. It is nothing compared to what it was just literally a couple minutes ago. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is a very quick one, but it shows you this how much Reva Tuner can help you out just for limiting your FPS on unsupported games and as well as ones that don't actually have any options for unlocking the frame rate or turning it or turning it off, or adding V-Sync. Obviously, V-Sync is good, but it does limit your frame rate, so that is another issue that you don't want to have. So, hope to see you guys soon in the next one. If you have any more, if you have any help, or if you want any help, make sure you leave a comment down below, or you can hit me up at Twitter at Diamond Rice. So, I have to head out, so I will see you soon. Later.